Hey guys, welcome to my videos for basic maths. This video will teach you all about standard form. Now before I move on, don't forget to get a pen and piece of paper and make sure you take some notes throughout this video. Also, if you get stuck, please feel free to drop me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I also have a link to free access for educational testing questions. So be sure to stick around in the video to find out more about how you can get your access to the free testing questions. Okay, so before I begin, there are some quick shout outs I would like to give. And these people have got involved with some of my videos and I really appreciate their support in all of my educational videos. It goes a long way for me to see that I'm, my videos are actually helping people. So I really appreciate it guys, well done. Okay, so let's continue with the video. So what am I going to teach you? So what is standard form? How to express numbers using standard form? and show you some sample questions to talk you through the process. Okay, so what is standard form? So standard form is a great way to write really large or really small numbers. So rules for using standard form. So the first number always has to be between 1 and 10. The nth power, the n sign next to the 10, is based on how many places the decimal point moves. So the nth power is positive for big numbers and negative for small numbers. So this sounds a little bit confusing but it will become much clearer in the sample questions I'm about to show you. So express 346,000 in standard form. So step one, move the decimal point so that the first number is between 1 and 10. So 346 will become 3.46. Step 2, count how many places the decimal point has moved. So the decimal point in this number would be here. And to get to 3.6, we'd move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces. So this gives us 10 to the power of 5. So we have 3.46 times 10, 5. Remember, because this is a large number, the nth term is positive. Okay. Example 2. Express 0 0.000346 in standard form. So step 1. Move the decimal point so that the first number is between 1 and 10. So we've got to move this decimal point to make the number between 1 and 10. So we can move it 1, 2, 3, four spaces to make 3.46 because this number is between 1 and 10. So because the decimal point has moved four spaces this gives us 10 to the power of 4. And because we're dealing with a small number the nth power will be negative. So step 3, step three so we have 3.46 times 10 to the power of minus 4. Okay because from here you would be working backwards in order to reach that number again. So key things to remember, if you're dealing with a large number, the nth term will be positive. If you're dealing with a small number, the nth term will be negative. If you're asked to work out a calculation which contains standard form, you'll need to first work out the number and then do the calculation. If you are asked to write out numbers from smallest to biggest, you will need to make sure all of the numbers are written in standard form. Next, you will group the numbers with the same power and order them accordingly. Lastly, you would arrange the numbers, the group of numbers, based on the front number. So here is a quick example. So we've got 3.4 times 10 to the power of 3. So you, because this nth term is positive, we know that the numbers going to be bigger. So we're going to move this three spaces to the right in order to give us 3,400. 5.6 times 10 to the power of minus 4. So the nth term is negative, so we're going to work backwards to make the number really small. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So this is your turn to have a go. So question 1, express 986,000 in standard form. 
Question 2. Express 0.000457 in standard form. And question 3. Change this number from its standard index form to its actual number. Now for these, I would like you to write your answers to these questions in the comments box below, just so I can see how well you're doing and I can mark these answers for you. Okay, so that's it from me on standard form. So I hope you have found this video useful. And if so, remember to hit the like button and become a subscriber. For more videos, click on the click here button right there. Or click on one of the coloured rectangle boxes to be redirected to one of my other basic math videos. All that's left for me to say is that I would like to thank you all for watching and I wish you all the very best of luck. Take care guys.